Hello there, my Aquarius Collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, Aquarius? You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ring a ring. Oh. Aquarius, oh my nose itching, what the fuck? What's up Aquarius? God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil, as is my beautiful Aquarius. Collective Aquarius, what's going on? What's going on Aquarius? Damn, my, my nose fucking itching. Uh, uh, well, you're walking towards it, look at that. Walking towards an opportunity. Some of y'all could be uh, travel. This could be travel. Maybe you're going to take a trip uh, somewhere where there's um, some trees. As soon as you move away from one opportunity, you're going to walk right into another one that's going to be very beneficial. But I feel like you have to be the one to, to do the moving. You have to be the one to facilitate that uh, Aquarius by moving away. Moving out of your emotions. Uh, shutting the water valve off, right? Not given to uh, uh, people, places, and things that are uh, emotionally manipulating to you. And Eight of Cups, Eight of Cups could be a little bit of a sorrow type energy uh, because you you have to just kind of cut off your emotions. You're emotionally uh, uh, you're not invested anymore. So Aquarius, that's interesting. What's the bottom of the deck? <sighs> Fucking A, Aquarius. There you are at the bottom of the fucking deck. Okay, so pay attention. Pay attention, Aquarius. What's going on? Nine of Swords energy. Yeah, that's that Eight of Swords energy. You need to get out of your head over something. This is just um, emotionally something that just keeps you stuck. This is sort of that uh, the devil energy. Whatever is an unhealthy uh, attachment to you or uh, an unhealthy thing that you do. Uh, for some of you, this could definitely be when it comes to your emotions, right? Sweet Jesus, Aquarius. Uh, just the balance has to come in. Balance is going to come in with the high priestess. Yeah, you need to trust your gut, your guidance, and your intuition on this. That's why that opportunity is going to show up. You can bring in the balance, uh, Aquarius, but you got to be the one to do it. Uh, Libra playing uh, right here. Um playing a major factor in your life, your situation. And this is also that. What energy are you operating in, Aquarius? What do you think you're going to manifest if you're in this sort of dark, sad, stuck energy? You're just going to keep repeating it. Uh, the High Priestess, I don't know if you're going to. Well, if you're watching this, you, you go to readers, you listen to readers, pay attention. It's like a stuck energy. That Eight of Cups is something that you've, you know, you're just going to shit can it all. You're like, this is not for me. But it feels like you got to facilitate that change. Uh, you are the only one that can facilitate that change. You got to do the shadow work. You got to bring balance into your life. And sometimes that means walking away from people, places, and things that you might have invested in. Okay, you made a bad choice. You made a bad decision. Now you're feeling a certain way. 333 three, three on the clock there, uh, Aquarius. So between the Nine of Swords, the Justice, we got the Death card, Scorpio energy. Okay, we got four cards here, and three of them are Major Arcana. So this is a life lesson, Aquarius, that you're going to have to focus on. Plus, you're at the bottom of the fucking deck. So this is you getting healing. This is you kind of going in search, right? You butt-ass naked. You take what the hell you need, and you just leave a situation. That's also emotionally removing any of that toxic baggage, any, any of the reminders that remind you of that shitty situation. You know what I mean? Any outfits, any... It's like... um. God, any reminders of that that sort of past that you had that wasn't very good for you? You you know, okay, you made a bad decision coming out of the Seven of Cups. You might have been too emotional in it. So now you're just going to have to walk away from it. For a lot of you, I think you're going to have to let go of the memories. For some of you, it's going to be anything that, that has that sort of memory attached to it as well. Because every time you like put that uh, jacket on or you put that outfit on, you're reminded of a person, place, or thing. Uh, mirroring energy going on here. Uh, Nine of Swords here with that. You notice the Roman numerals there? Uh, so Aquarius, if this isn't your energy, this could be someone that you're dealing with, okay? We got to put that out there. 
King of Pentacles energy. You could have been dealing with someone very, very stubborn. Uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Knight of Pentacles. Uh, you know what? You were waiting on somebody to come forward, and they never did. Now, for some of you, this high priestess energy, this person could have been feeding you a bunch of lies and bullshit to keep you stuck, right? And you've been waiting on them for a while, but they kept saying, oh, baby, hold in there. For some of you, pay attention if you're watching readers, that you don't mistake an energy for someone that you need to let go of. Because uh, if this king of pentacles didn't step up to the plate, some of y'all could have someone in the sidelines waiting to step up to the plate. But if your heart is still all caught up in someone that you need to let go of, Someone's not going to bring in that offer. You would have someone around you right now that would love to come in, but they know you're still caught up in somebody. So they're just, they, they're, they could be sitting on the sidelines thinking, well, if they ever get the fuck over that person, I'll be able to come in. But for the time being, uh, you know, this is someone you could have told, uh, no, I, I'm, I'm waiting on this or I'm in this. Yeah, uh, What's that? Uh it's difficult when someone asks about the relationship status. If that's, if that's your response to a fucking relationship status, it's complicated. Uh, now, nah, you need to fucking run. You need to run because there's not too much complication there. Some of y'all might have caused somebody to stay behind because you are stuck in a situation that it's complicated, right? This high priestess energy... Um, I'm going to have to say, if you're, if you're getting readings on somebody, you know, you have to pay attention because not sometimes what a reader picks up on isn't the person that you're fucking thinking about. Because here we got this Knight of Pentacles and then we got this King of Pentacles. So some of y'all could be thinking that this motherfucker's waiting to come in and this person ain't getting off their ass, right? But there's another Knight of Pentacles, same energy signature that's just waiting in the background to come forward. But first you got to let go of someone that you're holding on to, uh, Aquarius. Sorry, <laughs> but that's kind of, uh, that's, that's the message. That's the message. So pay attention. You know, different parts of readings. I like to show you all the cards because a lot of you all uh, know the card meetings, right? So you can decipher what means. And certain cards are going to mean certain things to you in certain positions, right? Uh, it's all in your interpretation as well as someone else's, but some of you could be getting, uh, getting your wires crossed here when it comes to this high priestess and this king of pentacles. Seven of swords. Yeah, I feel like you could be mistaking one person for someone else. And you know that in, sometimes in readings, if it can show up, work, love, life, right? You might think it's a love situation, but this could be something dealing with work. This could be dealing with a friendship. You kind of have to decipher what roles and energies are in a reading. Because that definitely is going to factor in. I do see, I am getting mirroring energy here with that Nine of Swords and that Justice card. Uh, I am feeling that. So uh, Capricorn or Aquarius, some of y'all are dealing with a Capricorn. That's why you had to walk away from this situation. Something is very codependent. You're very codependent on something, which is why it's imperative you walk the fuck away. Yeah, you got to walk the fuck away because you're codependent on something. What's between the death and the nine of the ten of cups? I think some of you are thinking it's this king of pentacles energy, and it's really not. There's someone in the sidelines, but they're just waiting. Because they know you're still hung up on somebody. The nine of swords, the death, and the ten of cups there. Balance coming in, but you've got to be the one to facilitate it. So you got to get over any hang-ups that you have and pay attention to the energy signatures. Aquarius, that's very interesting. Uh, but I like it, though. Um, 
That seven of swords energy, any conflict that you might be feeling, it's like you're holding off getting your new start because the person that wants to come in knows that you're still hung up on somebody. So they're just waiting in the background, hoping to, like hell, you're going to change your mind or see the light or whatever the fuck in order for them to come forward. Because I don't see that King of Pentacles doing shit. Uh, King of Pentacles there, that Seven of Swords and that High Priestess, I think this King of Pentacles is just manipulating in order to keep you from moving forward. You know, sometimes people will keep you stuck because they know you're going to go somewhere better. Some people that don't have a lot to offer will keep you stuck so you don't find somebody better. So they can always kind of keep that door open to sneak back in because the Seven of Swords leaves two swords behind. For some of you, that's so. this person don't want you to leave them because then they know you're going to go find somebody. Some of them might actually know somebody who wants to come towards you and make an offer. So they're going to stay keeping you stuck to keep you from being happy. Page of Wands. Nine of Pentacles with the Nine of Wands. You got someone sitting there carrying a torch for you. Because they see you as that nine of pentacles energy, but they know they can't come in. But they are, they are, they're keeping this a secret. Some of you, this person probably hasn't let you know that they like you. So you're cock blocking any, anybody coming forward because they know you're still caught up with somebody. You're still hanging on to somebody. Ten of swords. Five of cups. And the temperance. you got to be the one to heal this situation. Some of you, you need to heal a situation. Maybe that's your problem. You haven't got over a loss. Someone that's left you behind uh, and treated you like shit, but you're still holding on to it for whatever reason. Uh, you need to temper that. You need to heal yourself. Because that could be what's preventing somebody from coming towards you. Now, I'm not seeing, whoever the hell this King of Pentacles energy is, is the asshole, okay? This person is deceptive as fuck. This is a new energy. This person hasn't probably told you anything or hasn't said anything. I don't feel like this is reconciliation energy, because someone is just keeping you stuck. Because as long as they have you in this energy, they know they can sneak back in anytime they want to. It's like anytime you heal yourself... This person's going to come in and make sure they re-put that sword back in you. Some of y'all are dealing with a real piece of shit that you think is going to be the happily ever after, but it's not. You're going to have to walk away from a situation. Because you got someone sitting there waiting. Now, I don't feel like this uh, Knight of Pentacles is sitting there because they're lazy. This Knight of Pentacles is observing you and realizing that uh, if they even tried to come towards you, you're still hung up or caught up in somebody that just treats you like shit. This could be someone around you. This could be a co-worker that you tell your fucking relationship uh, status to. This could be someone that watches your social media. If you're all the time crying and boo-hooing about your love life and and the, the people that you meet, some of y'all uh, could be dealing with baby daddy energy. Uh, and you're just coming across as being unhealed and broken. So you're not able, they're not able to come forward. It's not that night, it's not the king. Uh, whoever how that king of pentacles energy is, is a, a lying piece of shit. <laughs> they just don't want you to move on. That is that, that codependency. And someone else is just waiting for the chance for you to, <laughs> uh, in order for you to move on so they can come in and make an offer. So look at your readings a little different there, uh, Aquarius. Because some of y'all could be thinking it's it's this energy right here, but this is that manipulative energy. So any negativity thrown, this person is going to keep you stuck because they're not getting off their ass to do anything, right? Uh, probably still gawking, stalking, talking to you just enough to keep you interested while you got someone out there that's just waiting for you to, uh, to wise the fuck up. But you got to be the one to pull this energy in. You got to be the one to uh, do the healing work in order to get this resolution. This is a different person. That Knight of Pentacles is different from that King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles ain't changed. They're still whatever energy they're operating in. They're just keeping you stuck. This Knight of Pentacles 
is waiting for you to kind of do the work you need to do in order to bring in this offer. Now let's look at the bottom and see how you represent yourself here, Aquarius. Someone's, a, someone's just hesitating bringing in that offer. You can't get that offer until you work on yourself. You got to build yourself up. You got to detach from this. Okay, so I do feel this is someone that's probably around you or someone that watches your social media so they know you're not over a situation and they know that you're still in contact with the one that kind of keeps you stuck. Off again, on again, off again, on again, off again, on again. So this is going to be someone that you work with, someone that just knows your shit because you tell everybody about the piece of shit that treats you like shit and how you stay stuck. Okay, Aquarius, so this is why you need to move the fuck on. You're blocking your own opportunities because you have to do the healing. Some of you are refusing to do that healing because you're still connected to this toxic energy. Kept seeing Capricorn coming up. So that's your, you all got to do some healing work. You got to learn how to build strong foundations. How to sort of uh, 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 temper your energy. Temper your, uh, that with that strength card there, it almost feels like, you know, if you're all time posting on there what a piece of shit your baby daddy is or piece of shit your baby mama is and everybody knows. But if this person was to call, you like drop everything to go running toward, you like keep going towards this person's negative energy. They're, they're negative situations. You just put your ass right smack dab in the middle of any drama that they got because you haven't detached. That's why you're preventing someone from coming in. This person's wondering what the hell you're doing. They're like, why don't you move away from this so I can come in and bring you an opportunity? Someone's just waiting. Why are you staying stuck in this energy? When, uh, you know, someone wants to come in and bring you something good and tangible. But you can still be caught up in baby mama, baby daddy drama. Especially if you post all your shit online and people know what the hell is up. Or you go to work and you tell everybody your situation. So everyone knows that if uh, this person called, you'd go running to get right smack dab in their shit. Yeah, that's the fucking truth. Uh, this person just likes to keep you stuck in their conflict. Oh, Aquarius, we're calling some shit out here. This is the truth. Uh, until you learn to move away from that energy, you're going to cock block any new uh, energies that come toward you. This person just keeps you stuck in limbo, refusing to let you move on, refusing to let you have any new opportunities. Because as soon as you get a new opportunity, as soon as you were to start dating somebody, this person would automatically find love for you and come running back into your life. You got to let this person go. You're letting someone uh, live rent-free in your head. You're letting someone live rent-free in your heart that don't give you nothing but bullshit and drama. You get caught up in this person's shit. This almost feels like Aquarius. If they're having issues with the person they're with, you're up there cry letting them cry on your shoulder. The whole damn time, they're just getting treated the same way they treated you, and you're you're giving them sympathy, but they weren't there to give you shit. I see why this person ain't coming forward. Uh, someone's waiting to see that you've healed yourself, Aquarius. Now, you got someone waiting for you to pull your head out your ass so they can come in and take a chance with you, but you're not. And all I say that, Aquarius, I say that with love in my heart because you need to sever this toxic connection. You're seriously going to let someone cry on your shoulder if they're having relationship troubles, even though what they're getting back is the very same shit they put you through. But you're letting them cry on your shoulder. Anytime they have drama, you make it your drama. You need to remove from this energy. If you have a child with this, if this is baby mama, baby daddy energy, get you a third party person to go pick that kid up. You need to nix any sort of attachment to this person, right? If you got an aunt, a, a, a mom, a dad, a cousin, a sister, a brother that can go pick up this kid, uh, if there's like some sort of visitation, you need to let that shit happen. You need to go cold turkey on this person. If you want to bring in a new opportunity, 
Because there is someone waiting, but they don't want to deal with your drama or whoever the hell you're dealing with drama. They know it's like a twofer. Even though you're not with this person, there's still that attachment. There ain't no way in hell they're going to come toward you because they don't want that drama. This is for someone that puts their, 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 their shit out there so everyone knows. If you don't put it on social media, maybe you tell everybody at work. Everyone knows that you are still so caught up in this person's life. You probably had people tell you you need to fucking sever the connection. You probably had people uh, offer to go pick up the kid, kind of facilitate that exchange so you can remove from this energy. So I see, uh, Aquarius, this is something you're going to have to deal with. Because it's basically blocking any opportunity. you got someone wanting to come in, but they don't want to deal with the fucking drama. And you need to do some healing. Because this person only wants you around because that's when they can have control over you. And they can keep you caught up in their fuck shit energy. Because you go running. Oh, baby, are you okay? Watch, watch your readings. Some of you all are getting it misconstrued who you think is going to be coming back into your life. Uh... They could have the same energy signature, but one of them ain't getting off their ass to do shit. The other one's just waiting in the fucking wings. So some of you could be thinking this person's going to step up to the plate. All this person's going to do is just keep manipulating you. If, they, if, you, if this is how they interact with you, how are you going to get a relationship out of that? Some of y'all know that this is when you got to focus on yourself, Aquarius. You got an issue. You're very codependent and you're very attached. That's what you got to work on. And until you deal with that, you're going to you're just going to cock block any good opportunity coming in because some healed person ain't going to deal with that shit. Baby mama, baby daddy drama. You got to walk away from this. But I'm sensing that people have told you that and have tried to help you out. So you don't really have to be in contact with this person. You can send someone else to pick up the kid or drop off the kid. You could attach, detach from this person if you wanted to. You're choosing not to. Ooh, damn Aquarius. I'm sorry. It got a little truthful there, but that's, that's your issue. You can either choose to heal or you can stay chained to this, this uh, codependent situation here. That's your choice. Some of y'all are dicking away. Two, 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 two on the phone. Some of y'all are pissing away a good opportunity because that person ain't dealing with this codependent shit. Someone ain't dealing with the mama, baby mama, baby daddy drama. They're like, oh, hell no. You're messy. Your life is messy. <laughs> they're, I think this person is hoping you'll change. Maybe they're just waiting. But uh, you've got to be the one to walk away from that. And I'm feeling that other people have, have told you they would go through and, and try to help you sever that connection, but you don't let them. You're still holding on to someone who's very toxic. The Ace of Swords again with the Fool card. You need to cut cut ties with this energy and just go fucking go be out on your own. Six of Swords, Four of Wands with the Star card. You need to focus on your healing. You need to move away. This is that, you know, the Six of Swords there. He's taking uh, the mama and the child off to safety, right? To a better place. You got to let this person come in. Because for some of you, that is that uh, Nine of Pentacles energy waiting in the background. That could come in and help your situation. Give you a beautiful new opportunity. But you got to move away from that sort of toxic energy. You got to be the one to take that fool's journey and sever the ties. To do the endings that you need to do. Now Aquarius, if this isn't your energy, but I, you've, you've showed up prominent. So Aquarius, I got to tell you. Now maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius. If you're cross-watching, I don't know what your situation is. But uh, you got to do an ending. You got to sever a toxic connection in order to bring in the new. And don't get your, your lines confused. Some of you are thinking the one that ain't worth shit is the one that's coming back towards you. And there's a whole nother person waiting in the background. You need to focus on the healing and walk away from a situation. Let someone else pick the kids up. Let someone else interact with this person. Sever all connections, any ties. Get off social media. Block any way this person has. If you have to change your number, change your fucking number. 
You need to remove yourself from this person's energy. You can ring my bell, ring my bell, ring a ling a ling. Oh, Aquarius, I'm sorry, that's a little rough, a little straightforward, but that's what we get. You got to sever that toxic connection. And you're going to get the opportunity for a new one. And remember, uh, people can represent the energies. You could think it's a, a, a king of pentacles energy. Now it's a knight of pentacles waiting in the rings to come in. Uh, you just got to move away from the toxic one. There's always a better version of whoever the hell or whatever the hell it is you want out there. But you got to be willing to recognize that instead of staying attached. Uh, if there is, because I am picking up baby mama, baby daddy energy... Uh, let somebody else drop the kids off and pick the kids up so you can sever that connection. You know you need to. You know you need to. You're cock-blocking your own opportunities. Peace, love, and light, Aquarius.